Outdoors here. Today, what I'm going to be doing is a part two to the how to use the Venom Pro Quad Charger. The reason I'm doing this video is I was just re reviewing one of my, uh, or the how to use the Venom Pro Quad Charger video, and I noticed that I missed a couple key components of the features of this charger. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys today is show you those features. So the first feature is the nickel metal hydride balancing, or the cycling feature. So of course I have my um, 2000 milliamp hour 7.2 volt armor battery. So what we're going to do is, this is a user set program, so go ahead and press select until you get to the nickel model hydride. Then you're going to press enter, and then you can either do nickel model hydride charge, you can do cycle, or you can do discharge of this battery. So on the charge, you're just going to do current 2 amps is what you would charge this battery at. Now, to cycle the battery, you can either charge it and discharge it, or you can discharge it and charge it. Now you can do this up to five times. So if you want to cycle this battery five times, for whatever reason you have, you can go ahead and do it on this charger. Now, you can also discharge this battery. So if this battery was fully charged and you wanted to discharge it, what you would do is you would change the amperage as high as it'll go which is one amp. You can discharge batteries at one amp, which is, it takes a while, but you know what? It's worth it. And then you would change your voltage of the battery. So if your battery is a 7.2 volt battery, that's how you would do it. Now, that's all the stuff on the nickel metal hydride. This also goes for the nickel cadmium, I believe. So let me go ahead and check that. So on Nickel Academy, you can charge, cycle, and discharge. Yes. All right. So now moving on to the LiPos. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to the LiPo battery, press enter. Now, to change through these, you have a LiPo charge, you have LiPo discharge, LiPo storage, and LiPo fast charge, and LiPo balance. So if you have a pack such as this one right here, which is my Venom 5000, milliamp hour 30C two cell. If one of the cells was a lot higher than the other one and the battery wouldn't automatically level them, what you could do is you could go into here, you could set it up, you could do that. So let me actually go back on channel one since that battery is on channel one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show you how to balance them. So this is all the data for the battery. I already put it in. So what we're going to go ahead and do is it'll do a battery check. And you press enter and it will balance charge your batteries. So that's how to balance charge them. Now, as you can tell, this battery is automatically fully charged. It is already fully charged. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Now, that's just the balance charging feature. Charge, that's just regular charge like I showed you in the last video. Discharge, on the other hand, is a bit different. You can discharge a LiPo up to 1 amps, which isn't that much, but it's it does do it. Um, so what we'll go ahead and do is set it at 1 amp. Then we're going to change the battery cell to 2 cell. Press and hold. Battery check. And if, it, if everything uh, checks out, it'll go ahead and start discharging the battery. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Now, we're going to go ahead and do a storage charge. So what it'll do is it'll take it down at one amp until your battery is at storage. And so this is automatically already set. So checks, everything checks out. You can do a storage charge. So that's how that works. Now, if you want to go ahead and do a fast charge, hang on just a sec. All right. So if you want to do a fast charge, you can do this. You can do the amperages at 5 amps. Say so you want to do it at 2 cells. So press and hold. So now it's going to do a fast charge. And this is going to crank a lot faster. So this also goes for the um, lithium high voltage. 
So what we're going to go ahead and do is change it to lithium high voltage, just so I can show you that it does work with lithium high voltage. So you can do charge, discharge, storage, and fast charge of these lithium high voltages. So that's everything that I missed. I really hope you guys watch this video and see that even though you can do a great RC video, sometimes you mess up, sometimes you miss stuff. And in this case, I did miss stuff. And I wanted to make sure that you guys were informed because this charger is, it's a great charger. All that I can say is for $230, you cannot beat this charger. Now, another question, a bunch of questions I've been getting is, can you charge, if you want to charge a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on each one of these, can you do that? Yes, you can charge up to 7 amps on each port at the same time. So let's say that you have a 7,000 milliamp hour battery in each one of these channels. You can charge them all at the same time. It doesn't matter. This charger will do it. No problem at all. Um, I'm going to try to get another charger uh, to review. I am contacting Venom at this time to see if I can get one. I do not know if I'll get one or not, um, but if I do, I'll make sure to do a review on it. But um, thank you guys for watching, as always. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and, I'll, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.